G'day everyone. Thought I'd give you a look at my Boba Vett Slave 1 and Obi Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter with Hyperspace Ring. Got the. On the first one I had in the middle there, that's the original Episode 2 Jedi Starfighter. Nice box. See the slave one in the background there? That's sort of what I'm thinking of. We have this ship. Let's look at all of them. Start over here with a higher one. It's awesome. Spin around. Oh, it's a great stand. Say the same thing about that stand. <laughs> See how it's tilted over like that? I'll show you why in a sec. But yeah, this is just great, this ship. Just open the canopy for you so you can see the crew. Both got removable helmets. Probably looks better without the helmets. Quickly take those off. Could also use this for the uh, Camino scene. The little bobbers at the uh, pilot seat, and there, uh, Django Vet and Obi Wan are fighting down on the platform. Let's get this helmet to come off. I'd like to get a new Django vet. This is pretty old now. Cool. Pretty heavily tinted screen. It's more the glare. That's the problem. Usually, but yeah, that's that's what I got the ship for. To have those two inside. Let's have a closer look at this awful stand. It's probably the only bad thing with this whole set. Yeah, there's this little little cup. Sippy cup. <laughs> Bit of an afterthought. Um, and if you put it down, like it's not even level. And it's sort of tilted back. It's like, uh, you might as well just put it down like, like that. Yeah, it's better like that. If you sort of raise it up a bit higher with something that looks better. And if you want to sit there for half an hour, you'll get it to balance for a a while, you can always come back and it'll be falling over. So yeah, that's really not good. <laughs> it's good to see with the um, Slave One, they've given us a really good stand. Probably, um, I don't know what we can do. Get like a platform of some sort. And around here. Yeah, look at that. That's better, isn't it? So yeah, it's um besides the awful stand, it's a great ship. 
The original one didn't come with the hyperspace ring. And, uh, yeah, it's no problem about a stand with that one. But with the hyperspace ring, yeah, you need something to balance it. Let's take it out. So there they are, side by side. This one's got a little bit of damage, you know, scoring. You notice this has got a sort of a red droid. Because that one matches a lot better. I mean, I, I like the new one pretty much better in every way. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it before, let me just stand you just uh, there's a button underneath here. And then you have a second flight mode, attack mode, with firing missiles on both sides. Got buttons there. Yeah, it's a great ship, this one. back together pretty easily little slots there and there this one's got the folding landing gear as well so you can have it down on the ground Got a AB1 pilot in there. And that's what I originally think I got way back in about 2002, maybe 2003. And yeah, over here you can see that's probably my favorite episode 2 1. Probably have him. Battling Django on the platform. That's a great R4. Yeah, I've got this one too. Comes with like a Comtech reader. Um, but he's got a soft good skirt. And yeah, you could definitely get in the pilot seat pretty easy. So I'll just take away his lightsaber. Let me see if I can get away with leaving that in his hand. <clears throat> Let's put him in the pilot seat. Oh, okay. Pretty nice. Do for sure. I don't think this one came with a robe or anything. Got a few other AB ones scattered around, but from episode two, I think I've got the best ones for this scene. Yeah, I'll just leave him in there for now. Cool. So, uh... Hmm... I think I'd lose that one. And just go with this. Kind of strange how it slots in. Oops. Put that landing gear down. And there's just sort of resistance against it. It stays really firmly in place.
Plan A B one. And the ship is awesome. Worth more than both of those put together. Wonder how it did look. We put Bob of that in the driver's seat. The Django boat, I was just using. Not much articulation to him. It's got a jetpack and stuff I had to take off to fit him inside. Put his helmet back on for you. It's a pretty nice Django boat though. Controls, eh? I think he turns the ship around. I oh, know the, the weapons are down here that he used. I think it's those cannons. Oops. <laughs> those cannons. It looked like he, he couldn't see what he was doing, but I think he turned the ship around or something. I'm struggling with the height too, I think. <laughs> Let's get uh, his blaster out, eh? Holds it well. Great. Nobody's going to stand too well. Ah, that's good enough. I think I've got another blaster lying around for him too. Yeah, I do. Don't worry about that another time. Okay. Need a bit of rain. <laughs> Probably do that, take it out in a rainy day. I don't think anything would be too damaged by a bit of water. Maybe that cape wouldn't be too good afterwards, though. Let me just try and get this down a bit lower.
didn't see before. There's the inside of the ship. That's where Han Solo goes, or whoever's frozen in carbonite. He's facing backwards, yeah. You see that? Now he can't see what he's doing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this, but uh, when it turns, let me give this camera back. You move this on the side here. Yeah, you see how I, now it's the right way. Quick look at the back. Okay. Slide out, fold out, ramp. So I guess doesn't come with that. The figure comes with this though. Let's quickly aside again. along there, can you see? I'm sure that's for something, but I don't know what it's for. Yeah, great ship. Let's put it the right way up. Yeah, it'd be good to see another version of Obi Wan's ship where you could actually put a droid in and out and maybe he had some spare parts canisters to fire. It'd have to be a bit bigger. Yeah, you wouldn't even have to have the hyperspace ring. Yeah, hopefully, they do that. Maybe someone already has. Yeah, that's what I'd like to see changed about that ship. This one, pretty awesome. Maybe just some lights and sounds would have been good. Gotta keep the costs down, eh? Can't have everything. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased how that's looking. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sure, these ships will appear in another video sometime. Until my next Star Wars collection video, may the force be with you.